is going on once again, everybody? Welcome to a new edition of Pop Drunk. I'm Ed. I'm Heather. And uh, we're going to have some fun. Again! Uh, again! Yay! This is not a rerun. We've no. just honestly become so lazy that we won't even change our t-shirts anymore. No. Um, <laughs> it's alright. But it's a new video, so you're not watching the same thing. It is not. I promise you. Uh, it is not the same thing at all. So, so spoiler... We may have already had a few drinks. Oh, so yeah, you boys had some shots. You'll be entertained. So. <laughs> well, see, now I feel, you know, like the, the pressure is up. Before, I didn't feel I had to be entertaining. And now I feel that I have to. That's all right. I got this shit. I got it. <laughs> I'll be entertaining for all of us. All right, guys. Well, hey, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and coming to hang out with us whenever we decide to sit down and just rant for an hour and yeah. drink booze and open toys. Fact. <laughs> so after you like, share, and subscribe to this video, Bing. please make sure that you go find us on Instagram. And you can go find us on Instagram at... Pop underscore drunk underscore. You, this is my Tracy Smothers. Like yeah, that. but you, you threw on a Russian accent <laughs> there. What was that? I'll, I'll, <laughs> That's the alcohol. The rush, <laughs> Russianness comes with alcohol. All right, all right. Uh, well, guys, um, we're back. We have more mystery boxes. Um, and we even have more mail calls. We even have more mail calls. No, the mailman did not come uh, in between last video and this video. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> Sorry, that was, indeed, that was a good one. Uh, but, you know, we decided that we're going to start spacing out the mail calls. So, yeah. Um, I've got a mail call here. Dude. I don't know what it is. Yeah, th so so this this frightened me for two different reasons. One, because it says fragile all over the box, yet yet it's it's <laughs> dented. So I'm like, come on, guys. And then the second thing is it's kind of heavy. It is kind of heavy. This is from the Frog Prince vlog. Disney pins and Funko Pops. I'm going to go ahead and block his address off there, but if you want to take a look at that sticker right there. All right. We don't block out the other uh, address because then we can't send you stuff. I learned that a long time ago. I would cross off your address, and then I would cross off our address, and then Heather would be like, yeah, I need that address. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, some people like are requesting stickers and things like that because, you know, he... Heather's very organized. Oh, and I am the most disorganized yes, actually, person. Actually, I had somebody contact me directly. And they're like, hey, um, how do I get a sticker? I said, bet, give me your address. I'll put it in the mail today. I'm working from home. I got nothing to do. <laughs> it is okay. If you're like, I really want a pop drop stick, it is okay. To hit up to, Heather. To message me. That's right. It will not be lost <laughs> in the wayside. Well, because here's the thing, guys. I have been hit in the head with a steel chair. No, I don't even know how many times. More, yes. I've only been hit in the head maybe a few times. Yes, no. He's, yeah, so he is a lot yeah. more in my going pro, on in there. In my pro wrestling career, Dude, I, I went through this, like, hardcore, not quite death match phase. But you did some dumb shit. I did some dumb <laughs> shit. Yeah. And, uh, you know, close to 40 now, and it's finally catching up to me. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. So we're gonna open this up from the Frog Prince vlog. I uh, love mail calls. Uh oh. Cause it's like Christmas for me. Like, cause I'm the type of person that I'm just like I never look for Christmas presents in like hidden spots and stuff. Like this one over here. If something came in the mail and my mom was like, "Don't look at it," I'm like, "Okay, I, I want to be surprised." This one is like, all right. First I off, like surprises. First off, comment below. All right, comment below if you've done this. So when I was a kid, okay, we'd have okay. the Christmas tree, right? Beautiful, decorated, um, plentiful, plentiful, and you know, with presents under it. Now. Back in the day, we're talking the 80s, 90s, <clears throat> your boy Ed. He was also the baby. I was the baby. Yeah. I'm, the, I'm the youngest of eight, if anybody has any questions. Like, I have seven siblings, and I am the youngest. So Only child. Only child, and that's what? why she's a princess. Bitch. What? 
I am not. Uh, so Heather yes. Heather fully believes that I was a princess in a former Absolutely. life. Absolutely. <laughs> Diva. So uh, when I was a kid, yes. I had my own roll of scotch tape. Okay? And what I would do is when everybody was asleep, I would sneak downstairs because my room was upstairs. I would sneak downstairs to the living room <clears throat> with an X-Acto knife or scissors and my scotch tape. And you know how presents are like wrapped, right? They have that corner, you know, that corner on the on on the side, and there's always where, that where it folds, where it folds, right? And there's always that little piece of tape right there. You just take that exacto knife or the scissors, wow. and you just blip, blip. You open it, you take a peek, you go, all right, I can, you know, that's cool. And then you fold it back up but and you tape it, it back. But what does it matter? If it was something that you're like, this is shit, then you already knew like like Christmas morning, you're like, I'm going to be mad. No, no I'm not going to be mad. I'm a pro wrestler. But, but I why? can fake that emotion. Was, that was pre-wrestler days though. <laughs> but like, come on. I love surprise. I want more surprises in my life. Oh, here we I, go. Here we go. Just bring me flowers. <laughs> I just want flowers. Not oh. from my garden. All right. Open all right. your damn box. All right. Les bon temps <gasps> rouler. Let, Let the, the good, good times roll. roll. So it says bon, bon tom. Bon right? tom. Bon, bon tom. tom. So funny thing is, True Blood, amazing. They used to be from Bon Tom, Louisiana. Guess where this girl hailed in wrestling bon for, tom, like, Louisiana. for like six years? Bon Tom, Louisiana. Yeah. All right. And I hailed from, <laughs> from well, I. I've had several yeah, like, I've had like three or billing four. areas. Yeah. So my first one, yes. I, I was doing this this very like goth horror gimmick. Look at this. My, I know, but back in the day, you'd believe it, man. I had the long black hair. I wore way too much eyeliner. And I had like a big pentagram on yeah. my gear. Um, my name was Malachi. Uh, Malachi Torrance. Mm -hmm. Which is a collaboration of two horror movies. Children of the Corn and The Shining. There you go. And uh, I hailed from room 237, which is the room from The Shining. Uh, after that, after I dropped the Malachi gimmick, uh, that's when I just became Eddie Gonzalez. Right. Um, and my first gimmick town that I hailed from... Yeah. Was from Mexico, Indiana, which, which is, is a real place. place. <laughs> is a real place. Mexico, Indiana I have is a, real. I have a picture of me under the sign. I'm like, I found it. <laughs> yes. Which is a real place, Mexico, Indiana. Um, and then, and then I had. I think that was it. And then after that, I became really obsessed with the TV show Lost. Um, you should watch Lost. It's fantastic. Today, as yes. we're filming this. I finally finished my my most recent Lost rewatch, where I watch all 121 episodes so many. from start to finish. Um, and today was the last day for me to finish it. Mm. And um, it only took me like I only watched it on the weekends, right? And it only took me like three weeks. But he's a binger, as oh, in yeah. he doesn't leave the couch. I he's on at six in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I would wake up at six o'clock in the morning. Come downstairs, put on Lost. I would not stop I'm watching that sleeping. until probably 6 or 7 o'clock in the evening. Who's your favorite Lost character? Hurley. Hurley. Hugo. Reyes. Comment below your favorite Lost character. But anyway, to finish that story, I'm sorry I'm drunk. Um, Dude, everyone's losing their mind right now. They're <laughs> like, oh my god, Ed's already telling stories. Um, my, my, I, where I hailed from yes. was... Dharma, Mexico. Not a real place, nope. but if you watch Lost, you know that the, the Dharma yeah. Initiative. So I just figured that sounded like a Mexican city, so I said Dharma, Mexico. And I know in a past episode, we talked about the gear. Yeah, His yep. gear was all like, you know. Lost inspired. Lost all right, so we got a little, we got a sticker. We got a sticker. Heather loves stickers. Okay. It says, Ed and Heather, first again. What is Look, I'm not condemning all of you, <laughs> but please, going forward, 
I would appreciate if you put Heather first. Now, do you remember when I said she was a princess? <laughs> It's the little things in life, okay? Uh, Giggity, okay? Says, <laughs> your, your channel has brought me hours of enjoyment over the past several months. I love watching your happy hour mystery box challenges and hearing your amazing wrestling stories. You already got them. Please <laughs> accept this small gift as a token of my appreciation. Uh -huh. Now give me two claps and a Ric Flair Woo! Sincerely, stand up. the Frog Prince vlog. Well, I give you <laughs> woo! Two claps and a Ric Flair. Thank you so much, my friend. We appreciate you. Woo. Heather, I give you one too. <laughs> what's in the box? I, I don't even know what's. It's it's very protected. <laughs> That's how we'd like it. Well, protection prevents babies. Well, first we have a Power Rangers. <gasps> That's for me! Helmet collector clip. It looks like it's a blind bag. I will I will give that to you. This is for me, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you better open it and see what helmet it. you get. And this is obviously, this is the Power Rangers from the movie. Yes. Which we talked about, which was, we, we enjoyed it. Minus, you know, the uh, gold bar. <laughs> but, uh... What's her face? Um, what's what's her name that played Rita? I don't know. Oh, uh, Elizabeth Banks. Yes. Yeah. Dude, she was, She's she was awesome. amazing. Oh, you got the ah, red or is it pink? No, it's red. Is it red? Oh, it's red. Okay. It's red. It is a metallic red. Oh, That's pretty cool. It's so dangly. Good. Because <laughs> She's got a whole shoebox full of them. Dangly ones. Dangly. Comment below <laughs> what that is from. That's, that's so cool. Thank you so much. All right, well. I love Power Rangers. You know, you know what you gotta, you, you know what happens at this point. The Frog Prince Look. has sent us some Mardi Gras beads. Look, this is a, this is a family friendly channel. <laughs> but we will take your beads and we will give you a smile. <laughs> oh man, hold on. There's more. Hold up, wait a minute. Well, I'll let you read that. Oh Lord. Oh no. Oh, this is good. Heather, if you don't get your favorite color Power Ranger, at least you get your favorite shot. Good looking out, bro. I like that. <laughs> and it's a bottle of Malibu. First shot. I got you. All right. It says, Ed, I picked this for you. Oh. Because I think it's worthy of a giggity. Oh. Ooh, ooh. I, I don't know. Deep, Deep Eddie, Eddie vodka. vodka, giggity. Yes, we have had Deep Eddies on this show. Yeah. No comment. Yeah. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Well, awesome. I might hit that tonight. All right. Well, there's more. I'm gonna put these on for now until I get stuck on the table. So. All right. There's one more thing in here. Oh, we're going to New Orleans. And well, he's from Mississippi. Oh. Or at least his return address is Mississippi. All right. But we went to New Orleans uh, a couple years ago. Yes. Love the culture. I am huge, big into like the culture, the vampire, the just the whole, oh my God, it was great. But um, it, the whole French Quarter it, smells like it piss. It smells like pee. Yeah. I don't know what, what this is. Dude, that's. This is like. I don't know. It's obviously not <laughs> pop related. It's like a box. It's a large box. Are they cookies? No, I don't know. They are not cookies. Damn it! But the frog prince. The frog prince. Oh my god. Sent us. Hold on, let me spin these around. Very I nice. can't spin them around. Very nice. But oh no, there we go. Christmas story shot glasses. This is super awesome. Uh it says, ah, fragile <laughs> It looks yes. like a deranged... I'm going to just open it. I'm not opening it. I mean, we're going to use them. So thank you so much. It is our ever-growing shot glass collection. So... Oh, fudge. But I didn't say fudge. <laughs> he looks like a deranged Easter bunny. Oh, such a good ah, boy. fragile Yeah. Must be Italian. Yeah. 
The post office doesn't know what that word is. And I triple dog dare you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Lick the pole. <laughs> Giggity. There you go. <laughs> Frog Prince That's walk. Awesome. Let me see the sticker again. You still got oh, you already put it down I there. It by, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, but it's on the box. It's on, well, it's at the box. Yeah, it's at the box. Frog Pitch Vlog. I'll put your name down here. Um, you guys should go follow Shout him. Out. You're um, awesome. Super awesome. Good looking out. Thank you so much for the shot glasses. Thank you for the booby beads. <laughs> and and Heather is appreciative of the. I appreciative of all Power Ranger. I'm gonna put this on my feed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep talking. All right, guys. Well, uh, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much. Um, you're super amazing. We appreciate each and every one of you. Um, Heather now Aww, has her power in Please remember to like, share. Please remember to subscribe. Um, it helps us out. Um, and you know what? If you if you get bored and you feel like going to buy a pop drunk or hardcore Heather Owens t-shirt, um, the link will be below. And uh, thank you so much to the Frog Prince. I'm actually Dude, probably yeah, going to use like one of these right now. Because I don't have enough. Yeah. Um, this is like this is all glorious stuff that will be used oh, and praised. Hundred percent. So excited! Yeah. So. Um, Fake, Fake in Instagram. Did I not do the Instagram? I, I, thing don't, I don't. I don't know. I think we did the Instagram. If not, let's do it again. Did we do the it. Instagram? Well, they can't respond back. Oh well. Can we do it hey again? guys, make sure that you follow us on Instagram, and you can go find us at Pop underscore drunk underscore i feel we did that but we may have done it before all right all right anyway anyway guys we got mystery boxes and we've Yay. got so here's kind of the thing all right so back in the day we used to order mystery boxes from this company and no matter how many ordered they'd all come in one box well, over the past, I don't know, almost year, yes. they have started coming individual boxes, which is fine. It's whatever. But my mail office has been like, one day I'll get two of them. The next day I'll get three of them. The next day I'll get one. So right now... Not blaming our post office. No, I just blame the postal it's... service. Yeah. Um, so right now I have seven. Obviously I ordered eight, but only right. seven has shown up. Um, mystery boxes from our absolute favorite mystery box company, oh. Chrono Toys, which you can go check out on Instagram at chronotoys.official. You can also go check them out online and buy your own mystery boxes at chronotoys.com. Um, they're freaking awesome. So we'll have to double up on one. Okay. So, so there's one over there that's really kind of shady. Our, our, the, we never used to get damaged boxes. Right. But, but then I... They, lately, <laughs> pandemic-wide, yeah. our postal service has become awful. All right. So, so, so if... I'm trying to think. Like, I'll take... I'll take four. Oh, you're going to take the extra one? I'll take the extra one. If I take the damaged one? Yeah. All right. Is that, is that all right? That's fine. All right, well, we're going to get them on the Good table one. first. Okay. Right? My math isn't off, right? One, no, two, there. three, four, five. Here's the damaged one. Six. And seven. Yes. Now, if we go this route, that just means there's going to be another video where well, we have one, nine. One, right? One, yeah, it's right. So, all right, well, I'll let you... I'm already taking the damaged one. All right, good. All right. All right. All right. She's so picky. <laughs> She's so picky. All right, I'll take these four. All right, I only get three, man. Oh, oh. It's going to be a short video. All right, guys. Well, hey. Hey, hey, hey. You know, there's a lot of YouTube channels that open mystery boxes. There's a lot of YouTube channels that love Funko Pops, and I'm subscribed to each and every one of them. Yes, he is. And you guys are all super awesome. But we do things a little bit differently. We've got three very important rules and we have one very important regulation. The one and only regulation is we do not talk about value. No, we do not. We like Funko Pops because Funko Pops are awesome. They're awesome. <laughs> Whether the pop is worth $5 or $500, it means no bearing to us because we just want cool Funko Pops. Okay? 
Now, yes. gonna open mystery boxes. Yes, we are. And we're gonna play drinking rules. Yes, we are. You gotta have rules. Yes. You can't play a game if there ain't rules. Mm. So, Heather. That's me. Give them the rules. If you would like to play along and of legal age, wherever the heck you are from, then you must take a shot if we pull something that we already have, if it's damaged, or if it's a godforsaken anime, Vegeta, Goku, Digimon, Pogachu, I don't care. It is okay if you like it, but Heather doesn't like it. But they like me. Yes, they do. That damn Vegeta. All right. So, well, you know what? You yeah, have. I gotta open it first. You have no box. Uh, you have more boxes <laughs> than I have. I have all the boxes. The plentifulness of the boxes. <laughs> Ergo. Er <laughs> you pick first. Er Ergo. <sighs> Every time you like, like when I hear the word ergo, ergo, I think of um, uh, what's this? Ah, uh, uh, he was uh, in Friends as Phoebe's. Uh, he plays a poo. Drawing Hank light. Azaria. Hank Azaria. And he was uh, Phoebe's boyfriend. Yes. And when he was going to Mints and stuff, he's like, ergo. <laughs> I don't know. See, it's the little triggers. Oh. Anyway, that's nice. where we are. Hey, we've been drinking. Um, <laughs> as I was opening the Frog Prince's box. Yes. Is that a giggity? As I was opening the Frog Prince's box, uh, my liquor yes. just punched me right in the face. Like, I was fine, I was feeling good, in the kisser. and pow, right in the kisser. Pow, right in the kisser! <laughs> yes. Alright, so, so, so. So we, yeah. So our first, Chrono Toys, Weekly Challenger, Mystery Box Pull, is Heather's first Vegeta of the Night. Maybe, I don't know. BAM! Well, I can tell you what. Look. <laughs> I don't want to assume, but I am assuming. <laughs> this is pretty anime to me. Yeah, so that um, is Asuka. Asuka. The Asuka we know Not that Asuka. is different. What is it? That is from... Pronounce it. <laughs> uh, ev and... Evangelion? Evangelion. But, but that's a weird sticker, though. Come look at that itty bitty. Yeah, it, it is from the 2019 Summer Convention Limited Edition Exclusive. I do not at all remember this from last year's San Diego Comic Con. Um, but I do not know what Evan <sighs> Evangelion. Evan, Evan. I know it's like a normal word, but I'm drunk. <laughs> uh, Ev Evangelion. Evan. Evangelion, I've got roads, roads, things we don't Rhodes. say on it. Oh. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's yeah, anime. I, You're taking I'm a shot. Aware. You gonna take your Malibu? Hell yeah, I'm gonna take my Malibu. Are you gonna mix booze or you wanna use one of these shot glasses? Oh, we got new shot glasses. <laughs> I would take the Fred Thank you very All much. All right, well, you gotta thank the Frog Prince. Dude, Frog Prince, thank you. You sent so much awesome random. We should, you know. <laughs> You know, we booked a cruise. Uh, we talked about this yeah. a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. We booked a beautiful balcony beautiful. suite. Um, going, on, to, going to Mexico. On the Norwegian sun. Just two weeks ago. Unlimited alcohol. Oh, yeah. Mm. Two days ago, we got a cancellation notice. Yeah, yeah. Um, that basically, if you want to go on a cruise, you're going to have to wait till 2021. Mm. Maybe, do we, do we go back to Louisiana? I don't know. I don't know. Because now know, I have like, days off of work. We took the vacation right. days. Right? The thing is, though, like, Louisiana, when we went to New Orleans, we actually, because I was like, we need at least a day to spend there. Oh, yeah, we spent and two days of there, course, actually. Of course, I'm like, we got to do everything. So I'm like, we got to go here and here. And then we went to um, the cemetery number one i think it was where uh nicholas cage has yes. a like a mausoleum 
Marie and Marie thing. Laveau. And Marie Laveau. Yes, with all the X's. That's Dude, it right. was it but the thing is though, it was yeah, it smelled like piss. It did. The whole French quarter smelled like but piss. But just the culture, yeah. like I, I am huge, like like big on culture. I, I would give them a second chance. Yeah. Um uh, we went to the Museum of Death. Yes. That was oh. pretty cool. At Kevorkian's like, you know, yeah. death machine and stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's the stuff we're into. All right, take your shot of uh, Malibu. That's right. <laughs> One shot, Heather. What they used to call you in wrestling, Heather White Shoes Owens. That's what they used to call you. So I was a referee for a while. Every pro wrestler starts out as a referee. Well, not every, but a lot. Yeah, or a security or yeah. things like that. But I was a referee, and um, usually when you're a referee, you don't want to draw attention uh. to yourself. Right? Is this the damaged one? Yeah, yeah. all right. I just See, felt... I never get my wrestling story. Tell you your see story. what happens? Tell your story. No, but as a referee, you kind of want to be, like, hidden, right? It's not about you. Yeah. And um, I would always come out, and I would, you know, so that you would usually have their black shoes. Like, very humor. But I had these bright-ass white <laughs> shoes on, and just ever since then, and I may have blown a finish or two, which means <laughs> that I... Messed up. You know, so we've all dealt with it, but whatever. They used to call me Heather White Shoes Owens. And they used to boo me, and they were like, no, like, yeah. Was, anyway. All right, so I don't know what this pop is. Are you sure? Because you were, like, scourging. No, her. because oh. I felt the the box. Yeah, wait, yeah, I get giddy, giddy, yeah. And I felt the damage, and I, and I grabbed... You the... felt a damaged box? Well, yeah, you remember the box that you said, I'll I know, take four if I you know, take... I know, but that was like a giggity. Oh, like, was that a giggity? You don't want to keep the damaged box. Just throw it back out there. <laughs> so, whether I have this or not, I'm taking a shot. Ugh. Bam! Oh, yeah. So, Dooley. Dooley! Oh, ooh, let me open it then. Um, for those of you that are not aware, this is your first time tuning in. Um, a, we already have this. And B... If uh, if Heather ever leaves me, there's only one person she's going to do it to, and it's going to be Ice Cube. So we got our Ice Cube pop here. Heather finally gets her open box Ice Cube. He made the list. All right. <laughs> it's a different list. Uh, certain people don't age. No, right? Ice Cube does I, not age. No. <gasps> oh. That's going to, when, when you finally get to oh, go look, back to look, look, look. He got the curls. Yeah. She would do that if that was the Funko Pop or the actual Ice Cube. <laughs> so pretty. Um, so, yeah, I got to take a shot. Now, here's here's kind of the thing, guys. We, we've we put Mystery Booze on the back shelf, you know? Yes. Um, just while Heather is, is, is on her journey. And um, I have this bottle... Of Jack. But we just filmed a video where I took like four shots of this in a very short period of time. Mm. Heather brought a bottle of liquor. Because I ran out of my skinny girls, so this is all that's in the house. Of Pink right Whitney. Now. Shout out to no. Jade. Nope, forgot. Oh, there you go. I got some deep Eddie. Oh, there you go. I got some deep Eddie from the Frog Prince. But though, in the future, I'm going to have to drink this, so shout out to Jade to the right. time for bringing it to me. All right. Oh, I'm sure it's... Horrible. Frog Prince, you're the best, man. Um, best shot man. glasses, booby beads, uh, Power Rangers. It's morphin' time. And liquor. Yeah. Well, uh, you're the best. <laughs> you're the best, bro. All right. If we, if, as drunk as I am, if we were at a bar together right now, I'd be all like, love you, man. I love you, bro. <laughs> Give him a shot. Yeah. Heather's been to the I've bar seen, with me before. Yeah, and then I've seen the bill, and I'm like, stop buying people's shots! Uh, spoiler alert, if you find Ed at a bar, you will never pay for a shot. <laughs> uh, now, I, I'm going to tell a wrestling story. Let me take the shot. Yeah, take the shot. Ugh, it sounds like... Ugh. It's straight vodka. <laughs> it's straight vodka. Deep in you, Eddie. Woo! Say goddamn. Oh. Goddamn. Oh. Frog Prince, I take back everything I said. 
no. We still go. Why are you reading? I it's, was. It's it's straight vodka. Yeah, that's eighty proof. It's straight vodka. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Tell your story. I am the guy that I do not like people taking care of my bar tab. It's just it's it's like a pride thing. Um, at a bar, let me cover the bar tab. I, I, just let me do it. Um, there have been times where we have partied with people. One of which is currently a world heavyweight champion. Correct. And 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 one of the two major pro wrestling companies. Mm -hmm. uh, he may or may not have slept on my couch, and I may have bought him booze a billion times. Uh, yeah. But all of a sudden, he got money. Yeah. Uh. He would not let me cover the bar tab. Uh, this was during like his like big, big run, where right. he may or may not have been world heavyweight champion. Um, of uh, one of a different company. company. Yeah. He would not let me cover the bar tab. Yeah. And I basically had to bully him. Yeah. I had to bully him. And I covered the bar tab. Yeah. But there was one other person. But then also, that's when we were married. Yeah. So it wasn't Ed covering the tab. <laughs> that's when Heather found it. I'm like, why did you do that? <laughs> He's a millionaire. Why did you cover the tab? I was like, he was trying to do something nice. What are you doing? <laughs> Is do you have ice cube in your boobs? It's the closest I will ever be to ice cube. <laughs> let me let me have this moment. Uh, Go ahead. But there was one other person who I will name. Yes. Um, no, you know what? I won't name. I'll let you guys figure it out. Uh, who is a sixteen-time? Well, I really it's like twenty-one, but whatever. Uh, sixteen. Time world heavyweight champion who absolutely basically told me if I even attempt to pull money out of my pocket, he was going to beat my ass. But you've, yeah, you, but you've told that. You oh. called him out. But oh. it's okay because yeah. we love him. Oh, we love him. He's yes. a great man. Yes, and he took us out to dinner. Oh, uh, well, yeah, but he wouldn't even let me pay for anything because he is the man. I understand that he's the man, but I want to be the man. Right? I want to be the man. No, no, honey. But he wouldn't let me be the man. You gotta know your place. <laughs> you gotta know. Just embrace your surroundings. Be like, you know what? You know what? Yes. I did appreciate yes. it. I did appreciate it. You know what? You go ahead and open a box. Oh, yeah. Because um, mm -hmm. you're one up on me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Real life. <laughs> Sorry, I have ice cube in my boob. I'm, I'm very, you have ice cube I'm, I'm on very, your boob. I'm very, like, scattered right now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what's your favorite ice cube movie? My favorite ice don't, cube don't, movie? Don't say the stupid kid one. What's, what was that one? When he was <laughs> what is in, it? Put, uh, in a damn van with kids. Are we there yet? Yes! Or something like that? That's... No. Don't answer that. <laughs> Boys in the Hood was probably my my like favorite. That was, I mean, movie. that was definitely like the like movie. But man, like I loved him ever. Like like Friday, Friday pulled well, me. Yeah, in. that's the thing though. That pulled me in to the Ice Cube ness. Here's a little story about your boy Ed. I'm old, right? That we figured that out. Oh yeah, he's so. Um, old. Do you know what was the first CD? The first compact disc that I ever owned? No, but I bet you yours is different than mine. I, I bet it was. My first compact disc that I personally that owned, to, yeah, that I purchased. bought, Yes, I was a child and it had an explicit content, but back in the day, people <laughs> didn't, didn't care matter. about that. Smile, nod. I bought the Boys in the Hood soundtrack. Really? Yep, well, that was my first we CD. Were, well, then we were kind of close. All right. My first purchase was at the media play. Right. Mine was which uh, doesn't exist anymore. Sam Goody. Which yeah, Goody got doesn't it. exist yeah. anymore. Uh, mine was the Dangerous Mind soundtrack. <laughs> You're a big Coolio fan, I see. It was a good movie. <laughs> and I read the book. Okay. And it was a good soundtrack. Yep, my first C D okay. ever was was the Boys in the Hood soundtrack. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Alright. Mm. Son of a I don't look Look, I don't know. Look, Hold on. That. No, but there's that. I get Hold it. on. I get it. It has weird... Gone Freesis. Gone fishing? <laughs> no? Hunter x Hunter. 
But but in between the hunter and the hunter, it is, has, is it, Japanese yeah, it, writing. Yeah, or Chinese. I don't want to. No, know, it's be that person. But it's um yeah, and the hair um. And it's copyrighted uh, Yoshihiro Tagashi. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So All right. well, that is anime. I I've never heard of this. Yeah, we've I'm opened actually, like yeah. We have opened literal like dozens of anime pops, and, and I've never heard of that. And we've wake, we've woken up in the middle of the night on Adult Swim. I've never seen this because they love the anime. So, so here's the thing: um, right. comment below if you're like me. All right. So <laughs> Heather, if you're like Ed, if you're like me, comment below. Heather, oh. Heather wishes. The whole place was silent when when it's time to go to bed. No lights, no sounds. Because I have a hard time sleeping. Oh, yeah. I'm 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 a sleep like like ap like not apnea, but it's like I uh, insomnia and stuff. Okay, he okay. falls asleep. I'm there and I'm just like I'm staring at the TV. I'm like I can't go to sleep. I all right. And, and if you were as well, uh, I'm a child of the '80s and the '90s. And we fell asleep watching Johnny Carson. That is how I fell asleep. I had this, I had this like 12 inch black and white television in my bedroom in 1985, 86, whatever it may have been. And I fell asleep to Johnny Carson. That's fine. But through my hold on, hold on. Comment below if you have to have the television on look to fall asleep. That's fine. Back in my day. Back in my day, so on the TV on the Zenith, the Zenith, the Zenith, you could program your TV for the timer. No, no, stop the sleep, the sleep timer, and I'm like, okay, TV turn off in 30 minutes, mm -hmm. but I could never do 30 minutes because I would just lay there knowing it was going to go off, so I'd have to do an hour, right? So I would do that. So then I would fall asleep with the sound of the TV, mm -hmm. but then you know it would turn off uh -huh. yeah and then it would just like Mwah. see for me if that i were to fall good. asleep with the tv on mm. and during while i'm sleeping it turns off that would wake me up he says that as i push him and and elbow him but that's different and, no. i'm a snorer um comment below if you like to snore <laughs> there may have been a time or two that I may have gone to the couch. <laughs> we have a separate bedroom. Well, you um, know, I'm a loud snorer, you know. What can I tell you? I'm I'm fat and I used to smoke. That's yeah, what happened. Well, but anyway. Comment below if you need a TV to fall asleep. And I'm the type of person that if I wake up in the middle of the night and whatever's on TV is something that I either A don't like or B have never seen before. I will be awake changing the channel to I something that. that I have seen just so I can fall back asleep. But also, I'm the type of person that I will wake up every hour and a half to two hours just just, just to do that to either <laughs> pee. Look, I drink a lot of water. It happens. So there's <sighs> that. But then this one, it takes him 34 seconds to fall asleep. <laughs> and I'm laying there for 38 minutes and I'm just like, this is <laughs> so yeah, I think it's a girl thing, honestly, because I think girls have more stuff going on in their brain than boys. I I don't know. Yeah. You oh, don't. I guess I should open a pop. Well, I'm gonna take a shot. Oh, you gotta take the shot. All right, take a shot. But yes, if you're a girl, I know the struggles. They're there. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not. Because he's because he. When you, when you super drink, you're like, I'm like, oh my god, I hate you. Go to sleep. And then the cats, I'm like pushing cats at him and stuff. Take your shot I, so I can take it. All this. right. Me and Ice Cube will enjoy this shot. That's, what was that, the Pink Whitney? Mm. That was a little bit stronger. That one's got a little bit more ass than that margarita shit. Oh. oh there's still a half a shot I'm in there. I'm taking it! Oh. Funny, because the window's open. I know the neighbor. If he comes out to his car, he's like, "What are they doing in their basement?" Just oh. yelling at people. All right, all right. 
It's okay. Bam! So here's the thing. No, no. I know. I don't care if we don't have it anymore. We, it's Michael Jordan. It's Michael Jordan. It's your common Michael Jordan. There's your common Michael Jordan Funko Pop. Do we currently have him? We do not currently have him. The only so here's what happened was that I had all the Michael Jordan pops. Yes. Then a few weeks ago, you, you, well, actually a little bit longer than that, but I had, sold all the Michael Jordan pops. We had a friend that came down and just took. Oh yeah, for money, you know. <laughs> but uh, for money. The only Michael Jordan pop that I have is I have several of the All Stars Michael Jordan. Okay. And I have the two ten inch Michael Jordans. So I don't have that pop. Yeah, he took the bronze one. He took this one. Uh, There was one other one. Maybe it was like a black or a rookie jersey or something. I don't know. Uh, But I don't have that pop. I'm not taking a shot. I'm not doing it. Shut up. I'm not doing it. I don't. What Dale? I'll take this one. Oh. Damn you, Dale. Oh, look. This one's kind of damaged. Oh, well, yeah, you picked the box. You I picked the box. I didn't, I didn't rotate it. <laughs> uh. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, also, you know, people want to play an additional drinking game that, like, people take shots every t- time we say super awesome. Oh, I like, say super awesome No, you time. start the show off with super awesome. Um, I'm trying to think of the other ones. Uh, I, I say know. super awesome a lot. I, I And I say that, like, every day in, like, everyday life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's just how we talk. You know, when we do talk, we, we're, it's yeah. very limited words. <laughs> mostly grunts. We yeah. mostly communicate uh, in grunts. Uh, that thing that, you know. The gimmick. The gimmick. The gimmick. Uh, go get the gimmick over there. <laughs> uh, 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 well, all right. Anyway. All right. Pull out us a Vegeta. Okay. Ooh, no, I lie. Oh, don't ooh, don't don't but ooh no, me. It was heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. All right. Do it. Yes. So. <laughs> so this is the 1989 Jack Nicholson. So yeah. Uh, oh, Joker. I got caught. <laughs> uh, we have the common as well as the chase. Yes. Yes. And uh, you gonna take a shot? I will. So actually, it was funny though, cause at the the birthday party I was at, it was for my cousin's son who turned one. I was talking to my cousin's brother, who is like my second cousin. I don't know. I was, I was like, who? He'd be the same level of cousin as his yeah, brother. Yeah, he would. But he was married into the family. Oh, yeah, so okay. It was like a step cousin, right. whatever. Right. So I asked him, I was like, we talk about this all the time. Who is your favorite Batman? You know what he said? Heath Ledger. No. No, that's Batman. Joker. Batman, yeah. Batman, uh, Christian Bale. He did. Yeah, he did Christian say, Bale. Yeah, he said, he's like, because you know, it's like darker and stuff. And no, he like shit all over the Joker movie and I'm just like Oh I love that Joker yeah, movie. I really But it wasn't liked... the Joker movie right, it... wasn't like a superhero super villain Joker. No. That was like real life shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, like that's like some like intense uh, like psychological like Jaquan yeah. Phoenix. Dude. Man. He I liked it. I I, liked I it. really liked it. And we and the thing is too we like I liked really his brother angry. more but I like him too. River Phoenix. Yes. River Phoenix. Ooh. Like, we're really, like, we're not super into, like, the here, you know, the... Superhero, the, the superhero Marvel, DC, like, yeah. But, I mean, growing up, though, you saw, you know, Batman. The and... Tick. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> but, yeah. So, uh, but no, and I asked him about the Joker, and he just, like, shit all over, and I'm just like, oh, okay. All right. And, and no, but he was, like, um, Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger was a good Heath Joker. Heath Ledger was really good, but also... Jack Nicholson was a great Joker. But Heath Ledger may have been too good that he... <laughs> became the Joker. Yeah, um, I'm not opening this. You have an extra one? I still I'm have a... to take a... Did yeah. I take my shot yet? No, you haven't taken a shot yet. Okay. Because, you know, unlike in the past, you know, this is going to be a Kane episode. Oh, yeah. We're not skipping <laughs> shots. We're not skipping shots. This isn't good. Is it not? I think I had that out of the bucket when we before we got rid yes. of the bucket, yeah. and it it's, was not good. It's different when it's 
teeny weeny. Why does it say barstool sports though? That's weird. Well, because barstool sports is like I know, you know what you, barstool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't I, know if they sponsor it or oh, what. Right. I don't know. This is this is. I just couldn't this imagine. Is a jaded thing. I couldn't imagine that like big sports guys are drinking something called a pink Whitney. I think this was like a a hockey. Okay. It's a hockey. Well, I'll tell you what. So if this is like a double or something, yeah, I'll take a shot of that. All right. Well, do what you do. Just to just to try it. All right. I got booze on my stretchy pants now. Okay. I've only opened. Oh, I've opened two well, pops. Yeah. And I haven't taken a shot. Thank yes. God. Oh. Um. All right. Right, we got this. We got this ice cube. We got this. We we got jobs. <laughs> it is. You got you got you got fired on your day off. <laughs> How you get fired <laughs> on your day off? It was like boxes. Man, they said they got me on tape stealing boxes. Why are you stealing boxes? What you trying to do? Build a clubhouse? Oh my god. <laughs> I love the Fridays. We might watch Friday. I don't know. We watched it last time, remember? I might watch it, was, it again. It I can't on, watch it again. It was on the television. <laughs> you know what? So, I'm going to let you finish that shot first. I'm going to give you a proposal. Oh, again? No, not that. I did that uh, once already. Yes. Yes? Oh, because Ice Cube was my other pop. Oh, oh, shit, yeah. All right, so, you have a... I have one box left. You sh yes, you have one box left, and I have one box. No, you should have two. Oh. Three, four, five, six. No, I don't know. One, two, three. Four, Remember? five, six, six, seven. Okay. Math is... Math is well, I haven't taken any shots, so what I was going to propose is... Was, I will open the... I know not that I would just drink that yes, he will. because you've drank more this episode than I, I have. I drank all, all of it. That I once again, I'm sorry. Would if you're playing open the extra box just in case you didn't have to drink. Well, let me open the box and you can decide if you want to drink or not. I just want to open the mystery. All right. It's okay. It's okay, Ice Cube. You got this. You guys are laughing because she has that in her boobs. That's going to be in her boobs until we go to bed. Like, not even like, like, the <laughs> filming will stop. That will still be there. I may forget that he's in my boobs. All right. I got a sticker. I got a sticker. <laughs> and it's Corona Toys, so you better expect it to be the special edition sticker. Let's go. Bam! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Was that the one? No, that wasn't. Son of a nope, this is the Avengers Iron Man. I was playing with the, the other one before. The, the Walgreens exclusive? Yeah. Um, I have no idea what this is exclusive to here in the States. Um, I don't have it. Okay. It's not anime. It's not damaged. Um, I don't care. I'm not going a whole video without taking a shot. I haven't taken a shot of this video, have I? <laughs> no. I took a shot for Ice Cube. Oh, yeah, because he was damaged and... I, I really just want to taste this and see how bad it is. It's not good. So... So, yeah, so if you played along with Ed this episode, eh, yeah, you can take shots, too. I have no more pops. We're not going to prevent you. I have no more pops. But I'm going to take this shot anyway. Oh, it's not good. Well, it's very cloudy. It is. Like, I thought New Amsterdam was like a vodka. No, but the, that's the pink. Like, that's the lemonade. Let's be honest, though. Every time you get lemonade, it's... All right. Let's but see. no, it's booze. It's not lemonade. It smells like lemonade. No. I was doing so good, but we're going to order some stuff. Oh. We're going <laughs> to... You're 100% right. That is not good. No. That ain't good. That ain't good. Jade, I love you. Fail, bro. Wow. Fail. Whew. All right, you got one more pop. I'm opening. Because we have this odd number of pops. It's weird. Thank you, United States Postal Service. Oh. <laughs> you gonna, are you are you rubbing just, Ice Cube for no, a good I'm luck? I'm readjusting him. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, How dare you? Yes, so. Uh. 
Uh, I'm going to let you open this no, first. Well, but. I'm going to open it. Tell them about the wrestling thing we're doing. Well, you know, we have a pro wrestling show coming up. <laughs> it is a convention of sorts. We have something called the Squared Circle Expo. <laughs> coming up on August 21st and 22nd in Indianapolis, Indiana. But which is centered to everything. Which is centered to everything. Uh, we have AEW superstar Darby Allen, AEW superstar Dustin Runnels, we are Rhodes. Yeah. <laughs> we have Sammy Guevara. We have Kane, Rey Mysterio. Vicky Guerrero. Vicky Guerrero. Chavo? Uh, no. We have Vicky Guerrero. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Nasty Boys. Yes. Um, and so many superstars from today, yesterday, and tomorrow. Yes. Uh, check us out at SquaredCircleExpo dot or SquaredCircleX dot com, or find us on Facebook at Squared Circle Expo. Coming up, we're gonna have a big convention. Have a good yes, time. Yes, and we're constantly, you know, because COVID was kind of like Co COVID kind of messed yeah. some things up, you know. But we are currently like we're announcing, we're getting into it. Yes, yes. So I be actually, prepared. I was actually on a phone call today about. Uh, about three different Hall of Famers. Really? I can't say their names because we're not uh, we're not there yet. And the thing is, too, it's not about autographs. Like it's about an can, experience. It's an experience. You but come, you can get autographs yeah, too. Yeah, Please autographs. get autographs. <laughs> and then you can come hang out. Yeah. We'll have a party. Karaoke. Right. Like I that. sing karaoke. It's it's not good. Last pop. It's really bad. It's really bad. I sing great karaoke. No, what are you talking no, about? I have documented. Like video saying that you are horrible. Comment below what is your karaoke, karaoke song. song? Yeah, my karaoke song. Oh, I have a few. It depends if you're if you're by yourself versus if I'm by myself. It is Bon Jovi's "Living on a Prayer." Mm. Or that, yeah, go ahead. If I am in a tandem, I have a partner. It is Islands in the Stream by Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers. But I'm Kenny. Yeah. 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 I've never been the partner. No. Ever. No. She likes Home Sweet Home, though. She I said, do. I do. I love Motley Crue, Home Sweet Home. That's my jam. And Steeler's Wheel. Yeah, Steeler Wheel. Um, Let's see. What's the I've name of the song? Two, um... Stuck in the middle. Yeah, with you. stuck in the middle with you. Yeah. From Reservoir Dogs. Yeah. If well, it's if, actually just a hit beyond Reservoir Dogs. If you are, if you are a Quentin Tarantino fan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your pop? I'm gonna pull it, son of a bitch. Bam. Oh. Hey. It's. I don't even know what that is. It's the Punisher, you know. Yeah, yeah, but it's the Punisher War Machine. PX previews and the War Machine. That I, is, that is know, not the Punisher. I don't have that. We do not have that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Do, do you see? Do, do you see? Oh no, you don't. See do it. you see it? You don't. See do, it. do you see it? Do you? <sighs> You're taking a shot. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some pimping in it. That is like if I could fit my finger you stop it? in the hole. Oh. There's damage. <laughs> That's a big giggity. <laughs> yeah. Take I, your shot. The Take the line. shot. I am. And we're out of mystery boxes. But yes. Um I've done Coolio. Um Gangster's Paradise. You did Coolio Better while than... Coolio was in the room. To be fair, though, I did Coolio better than Coolio. I don't know oh, if we're going oh, that far. Oh, oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> yes. yes, we booked Coolio on a show one night. Super amazing. He uh, was he's actually really, really cool. He's um, really amazing. I, Very I, down to earth. I think he's holding on to them braids a little bit longer than most people should. But you like. <laughs> but the thing is, though, it's like Coolio. Like, it's 20 years later, and though Coolio's It's like still, 30 years later. But if you look at Coolio, you're like, that's Coolio. Like, he's yeah. still... He, he got good. he got like two braids left. He got like two. That's um, a good dude, though. But yeah, you were doing... Were you doing Gangster's Paradise? Yeah, I was. I, that's, she was karaoke in Gangster's Paradise. And in the middle of her karaoke in Gangster's Paradise, Coolio walks in the room... As she's performing. See, see, I don't know this because I'm in the moment. 
Right? And, right. But she didn't notice. But I seen this. Coolio walks in. She's singing Gangs of Paradise. And Coolio starts doing one of these gimmicks. Yeah. And then he performed after me. Then he performed after her to do yeah. Gangster's Paradise. Yeah. He did a few different songs that night. Yeah. It was like an impromptu concert just because he wanted to perform. And you know what? That's how we roll. I That's think. how we roll. At our conventions, Same. you never know what's going to happen. Good times. That's right. All right. All right. Take your shot. Uh, <clears throat> I embody my, um, I'm not going to say his name, but... Uh, Oh, that guy. That guy. The Ugh. the world heavyweight champion of a company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take your shot. Ugh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's not good. That's not, not good. at all. At all, is it good? It's not even close. Oh. I'm upset. Oh, she's so mad. All right, guys. Well, listen. We opened seven, which is a very odd number. We opened seven Chrono Toys Weekly Challenger Mystery Boxes, which just means that we're going to have an odd number the next time we open Weekly Challenger Mystery Boxes. Um, thank you so much to the Frog Prince. Super awesome. Thank you very much. Oh. We appreciate you. Um, I'm actually looking at the you're thing awesome. just to see where we're at on time. Yeah, Frog but, Prince, uh, you're awesome. You sent us so much gloriousness. Um, you got anything else? I don't think so. I'm really drunk. Please thank you and remember to like, share, and subscribe. Please, Find us on Instagram. Please thank you. Please thank you. Uh, thank you all for coming out. God bless you and good night. Peace. Deuces. Deuces.